Trudeau's changes to access to information laws give him more access to your information before you can get access to what the government is doing. Today I'll show you the creepy new requirements being imposed on access filers like myself by the Liberal government. Uh, openness and transparency uh, isn't just about trust though, it's also very much uh, about better policy making, uh, better decisions. When uh, media can do their jobs of holding us to account and asking tough questions, uh, when uh, disclosure and access to information is just the way uh, Parliament behaves, uh, when uh, open data uh, and uh, evidence-based policy is at the heart of policy making and governance decisions, uh, you get the kind of government that Canadians expect and deserve, and that's what we're going to be working very, very hard to deliver. Let's read from Trudeau's first letter from himself to Canadians right after taking office in November of 2015. It reads, Canadians need to have faith in their government's honesty. Sorry, I'm going to laugh through this because this is ridiculous. Canadians need to have faith in their government's honesty and willingness to listen. That is why we committed to set a higher bar for openness and transparency in Ottawa. Government and its information must be open by default. Remember that, friends. Simply put, it is time to shine more light on government to make sure it remains focused on the people it was created to serve. You. But the lie detector, as they say, determined that, that was a lie and it didn't take all that long. You see, Canadians do have a right to know what the government they pay for is doing and saying behind closed doors when officials, politicians, and bureaucrats think no one is watching or listening. But friends, I'm always watching and I'm always listening. But one more time, the Liberals are playing games to block accountability. At Rebel News, we are routinely blocked from access to information documents we already know exist. Either through years-long delays, enormous filing fees, outlandish redactions, or, as was the case just last week, a denial that the documents even exist. Even though the feds have produced the now allegedly non-existent documents on at least another occasion. The documents I'm talking about were produced for the Public Order Emergency Commission. I can go look at those documents online, but if I file for them through access to information, the feds will tell me they don't even exist. And now the Liberals are putting up even more barriers to government information with new amendments to information laws. And remember, Justin Trudeau said, I should have access to this information by default. But here are the changes. Section 4 of the regulations is amended by adding the following after subsection 1. If the information contained in the request is insufficient to establish that the person making the request has a right of access under Section 4 of the Act, the government institution must request additional information from the person in order to confirm their right of access. So I have to prove that I have a right to access the information that Justin Trudeau promised us I could have by default. Now, the Liberal government also notes that only New Zealand gathers such information on access filers and that filers do indeed have a right to the information. Every other jurisdiction the Liberals checked, including other Canadian provinces, have no such test and many of them provide a, quote, universal right of access. Look at this. The amendment that allows additional information to be sought when the request is insufficient to ensure the right of access mostly aligns with New Zealand. New Zealand's access to information regime allows institutions to make, quote, reasonable inquiries to ensure the requester's right to access. Misalignment of these amendments with the remaining accessed countries, UK, USA, Australia, and France, is likely due to these countries offering a universal right of access to government records, contrary to Canada. As well, the aforementioned Canadian provinces, Ontario, Quebec, and BC, also provide for a universal right of access to government records. Mr. Open and Transparent chose to mimic New Zealand, a place which judges whether or not citizens get to know things versus just being open and transparent. Oh, and also the Liberals decided they don't even need to consult anyone on these recent changes. Look at this. No consultations were deemed to be necessary. Now here's the rub. The online form 
for federal access already requires you to confirm that you're a citizen and or permanent resident. So what other confirmation of the right to access would they really need from me? Or is this just another way to delay and obstruct requests even further? Meaning they can now take my request for access and then make a request of me and then put a request on hold until I confirm again and again and again that I'm a Canadian citizen. I'll let you know in five years and at least two appeals when I finally get access to the documents I filed about these changes. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreid. At Rebel News, we file dozens of access to information requests every single week. Sometimes we get hits, many of them are misses, but we won't know if we don't ask the questions. If you'd like to help offset our research and filing costs, please consider making a donation at rebelinvestigates.com.